I've ridden a horse four times in my life. Not one horse, but four separate horses. None of the experiences were pleasant. First time I rode a horse, I was about 12 years old. My neighbor rode his horse over to my house. With no saddle on, mind you. Now this is in Central Florida. So this is not unusual for a man to use a horse with no saddle as a form of short destination transportation. So he uh, brought the horse onto my carport, car garage, whatever you want. It's not really a garage, it's just sort of like a carport, I guess is what we call it, in Florida. And uh, he went inside and he spoke to my mother. And when he asked me, hey, could you sit on the horse, make sure it doesn't go anywhere? It's really calm. And the horse's name was Root Beer, which is ridiculous. So I sat on the horse and he shut the door a little too loud and the horse got spooked and it took off. And as I mentioned, there's no saddle, so there's no anything for me to grab onto. Except for its mane. So I grabbed onto its mane as best I could and it took off and it jumped over a ditch. Uh, and in, in Florida, a ditch is essentially like an unused Holocaust grave. It's gigantic. You know, like these things fill up with water and like alligators chill out in them. So, uh, <clears throat> it decides to jump a second ditch, not as large as the first one, but holocausty nonetheless. Um, at which point we're coming upon a barbed wire fence, and I can tell the horse is accelerating towards a jump to try to clear this barbed wire fence, at which point I just decide to sort of like let go and fall down. So I hit the dirty, wet earth, and the horse attempts to jump and it gets its back legs stuck, or its front legs stuck in the barbed wire fence. The man comes running outside, he, he darts like an Olympic sprinter, and he punches the horse right in its face. I'm not kidding, he punches root beer the horse in its face. He apologizes to me, he takes the horse home, he's like cursing at it. Two days later the horse dies. Now I don't know if it died from the punch or if he butchered this thing to make like, you know, pony jerky or whatever, but it died. Second time I rode a horse, I was at a friend's house and he had a horse. We got on the thing and we were trotting around, because once again this is apparently fun for people in Florida to just get on giant beasts of burden and not really go anywhere, important. The saddle was not fastened correctly and the saddle slipped and we literally slid like, like Three Stooges style. The saddle was hanging upside down and the horse was walking and we were hanging on and screaming and there's like horse and cow crap everywhere in this like stable area we're in and we're like screaming me and my friend this is and this this happened like a year later i might add i, I don't remember what this horse's name was or if it was named after a bed beverage or a snack food or we'll just call the horse let's call him phil faddle just for the hell of it um and his giant sweaty horse you know what, so we're all flopping around and we were afraid he was going to pee on us or, I don't know, impregnate us. Uh, anyway, we just kind of dropped into the horse dung and the horse stopped and no one punched it and it didn't die. The third time I rode a horse, I was living in Kentucky. The third and the fourth time were, were in Kentucky. And I got on this horse because we lived on a dairy farm and we had a bunch of horses. And I, now, mind you, I don't like horses. I've had two bad experiences with horses so far. So, you know, but if I'm going to live in Kentucky, if I'm going to live on a dairy farm, I need to get comfortable around a horse. So, I get on the horse, and then my cousin thinks it's a good idea to throw a basketball to me while I'm on the horse so that I can try to shoot it into our redneck makeshift basketball goal. Well, the basketball hits the horse in the face. The horse rears up 
and throws me off, and I almost break my ankle in the stirrup. So that's technically my cousin's fault, or either organized sports fault. The fourth and last time I rode a horse, and I will never get on a horse again. I don't care if, you know, mutant marauders in a post-apocalyptic Mad Max-like world are chasing me. I will not ride a horse. I will ride on a camel if I have to, and even though those seem very ornery. I was riding on a horse named Image. Oh, and the, the horse before his name was Blackie, by the way. It's Kentucky, come on. Um, got on the horse Image, like Image Comics that made Spawn. And Image stepped on a geode. Image is 23 years old, and seriously, I I so many hands high, like 10 hands high. Image stepped on a geode and took off running as fast as Image could and ran for about two miles with me screaming. And I was so scared I peed myself. I'll be honest. I just peed. I peed on the horse, on the saddle. Still living it down to this day. So yeah, ten cards. Let's talk about these guys. I've uh, got some, uh, you know, every time I just talk about how I got some candidates, let's be honest, there's a lot of bad magic art out there, so it's not hard. I just kind of scroll and, uh, you know, things happen. Uh, wow, sea monkeys with the ghetto blaster built into their castle. That's pretty cool. I don't know, is this like uh, the, like the like what a laser disc player looked like? I never was rich enough to own one. You know, we didn't even, our, if our neighbor couldn't, if our, a guy in my local, you know, my neighborhood could not afford a saddle for his own horse. Clearly, we could not afford a laser disc player, so I am unaware of what they look like. But, I mean, this doesn't this look like a sea monkey castle? Seriously. I mean, I need, like, some sort of humanoid or, or mythical beast or something in this picture to show perspective. Like, is this thing gigantic? Like, are these just four 410 speakers with some track lights to go... <laughs> And that's the volume knob, and it only goes up. Yeah, I don't really understand this thing. This looks like a little like a this is like a like a sea monkey jukebox. This is ridiculous. And like, why would I pay five for a card that makes stuff cost one less? This is absurd. Because the next one costs four, bro. Okay, this one I, I, it's probably not really funny what I have to say, but uh, I don't really understand what this thing is. Um, you know, we're, we're dipping into three different uh, mana pools here to create what looks sort of like a bad ceramics project. I mean, it's little hands are kind of gross. Like, it's got these weird, like, pedal manatee flippers with these little toe toes on the end of it. That's kind of gross. I mean, clearly it's a horror because they probably saw this artwork and didn't know what it was. I mean, the guy is, you know, friends with the Ghost Rider, and he's close enough with Ghost Rider that he can hang out in the background and uh, flex while Ghost Rider is taking the much needed bath. Um, bloated with venom, it crawls Grixis looking for victims to ooze onto. I feel like that sentence could have been different. Um, then we have like this like hyper Baptist religious like you know light of God breaking through the clouds. I mean this thing just looks silly. I guess this is the mouth. I mean does it have eyes? I don't know. Like I don't understand like is the perspective this thing is so far forward is you know it bigger than Ghost Rider or is it like really tiny and it's just on a rock going and so you know we're supposed to be afraid of it it just looks dumb I'm sorry and I don't know how to pronounce this word okay I made fun of this not too long ago in a video but I thought I'd make fun of it again for those of you who didn't watch uh, the Enchantress video I sort of talked about it in passing I mean the fact that someone could get paid to draw this is, it's just, America is incredible. Um, what is going on here? Like, if you're going to juggle, juggle three things. And if you have four arms, let's say juggle five things. I mean, this guy just looks like some sort of ratty-ass wig with some, like, I don't know, what is this, like a two guavas for wrists? And then he's got, like, some sort of, like, a palm frond chest. These silly Google eyes. I mean, this thing is, like, it's, uh, who is it, Malimo? Is that the, the monster's name? The tree folk guy's name? Malimo. 
So yeah, here he is. He's juggling like two, I don't know what these things are, like uh, meditation balls or like micro Pilates orbs or who knows. And in the background, we have all these like Christmas lights, which I mean, is that supposed to say like he's like clacked these things together and he's animated and summoned Christmas trees to be an army? I mean, these trees aren't even scary. I mean, they, they, they look absurd. I mean, they're not scary like this guy. Holy crap, how did this make it past, uh, <laughs> like, the marketing approval? What is this area? I mean, they're like, oh, yeah, that's his pex, and this is his giant root dong. But he has a sword, so it's fine. I mean, this thing looks like Lionel Richie to me. I don't know. I don't know why, but it just does. I mean, he's like, this. so this, this, this guy is seriously some sort of a, um, a sensual predator. He, you see he's, he's indicated his prey. He's letting them know. He's going to take what he thinks is, is his is his. He has a sword and he's willing to use force if needed. Um, I, I don't I don't understand. I mean I'm not even gonna comment on what the card does. This thing is you know, he doesn't have a job, so clearly he must be he must be a little upset. I don't know how it was that he could afford to buy a sword since he is just a tree, or why a tree would use a sword, which because a sword could be used to chop a tree up. I guess there's a bit of irony here, but I guess I'm more concerned with this thing down here. <sighs> the power of friendship, the power of love. What the hell? Once again, this person got paid to draw this? Like, can we at least have like a background? I mean, there's so many things cooler. We could have had like a guy sitting on a toilet with like lava flowing out of the toilet and he's got like a peacock exploding out of the palms of his hand and then there's like or you know we could have had like we could have had like a guy on like a water slide with laser beams shooting out of his eyes i mean there's there's so many things that we could have done this is such a cool card by the way but this is the silliest i mean this is just the silliest of the silly i mean we what do we what was the big artistic flourish to make this guy like greek I mean, look at these gross, hairy knuckles, and ugh. And then this this guy, but he's got like tiny hands, so maybe it's like a, this is supposed to be a dwarf. And their 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 little friendship finger tickle Facebook poke is is creating some sort of Green Lantern power where tickle giggle tee hee. Let's let me finger you and make you as strong as me. Gross, sad. I hate this custard color in the background. That's surprisingly similar to the skin tone so that makes it even more weird okay what's up with this guy like he, <laughs> how do you kick an arrow in half <laughs> i don't even know how that's possible like how you have to be pretty quick i mean the guy and he's you know like behold the power of dance i mean he's got like this he's doing these like weird dance moves he's breaking these arrows i, I don't know if he's is he protecting I guess yes, because he prevents damage. Human monk cleric. He's got like this... I mean, I live in Chelsea, trust me. These two cards resonate with me. I mean, this facial hair and what's going on here and what's going on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's like he's he's smashing these arrows for these guys and this guy in a, like a lilac bathrobe. Um, he's, he's quite sinewy. Um... And I believe these are either tattoos or track marks on his head. I, that I am not sure. It appears that they all have this. So apparently he is the... The reason why he is the Milton Monk is because he's wearing the loose tank top and can kick arrows in half. And he has like a, you know, a once again, a custard like little sash that's all flapping around when he's kicking and twirling, grabbing arrows out of the air. What the... What are all these little spiky ball things? And that, this is like a is this like a mole shrew with one bat wing? Like does it have two? Like where's the other one? Is it pooping these things? What is this? Is this like a that, that game Minesweeper and something went wrong? Like this is the updated version of Minesweeper. You are a giant eyeless one winged mole shrew, and you have to blindly crawl your way through the minesweeper field run away it's um run away exactly i don't even know what the hell this thing is come on we could have went somewhere once again we have a horror 
Why couldn't it have been something cool like Horror Shrew? There should have been one true. This thing is a rare, by the way. No way, buddy. Oh, Dana Nutson, you did it again. You have a VCR implanted into your face, Wrathy Assassin. You have a very bad stomach flappiness. I do not understand what is wrong with your hand down here. This hand is like some Lady Deathstrike, you know, what's up Wolverine kind of a style. You got like spider pinchers for a second chin. I mean, once again, the the Dana Nutson perspective where I can't really tell what's going on with the body and we just use a giant robe. I mean, this is the exact colors of uh, Stalking Assassin. So apparently Dana Nutson is like the assassin du jour artist that just uses a lot of like billowing clothing to compensate for the inability to draw human physiology. I, mean, I don't understand. Is this like the knee, the right knee, the left knee? Does this person just have one leg? Is this a... Is this how this person is killing someone? Did they Dutch oven them? They, they threw their, their giant burlap bathrobe over them and then just ripped one hard? Uh, it just looks silly. What's all this like cyborg crap right here? What are these two little, are these like, this is like a camel toe? I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm saying actual. Is this like a little camel foot here? It's, it just looks so bad. Wow, this is the least scary thing ever. It's like a lawnmower with a goblin in it that, that that can travel at like one mile per hour in only a straight line. I mean, sure, I guess we have like the, the morning star over here. I mean, this this just doesn't look very comfortable for the person who's piloting this thing. I, I assume this is, uh, is this like an arena and... You know, it's like steampunk. Once again, we have some sort of maybe a potential fart uh, as a weapon. It, it just, like, I, I don't understand. Like, how does it, does it turn? Like, he can sort of, like, does he turn it like a, like a jet ski, sort of? And it, it turns really awkwardly and slowly. So this thing seems like it's pretty easy to, to defeat. Especially if you just like injure his hands, like if you just go up and like green energy on his hand, maybe he'll let go. But he's green skin, so maybe not. Ah, uh, okay. For to me, this looks absurd. I mean, is this just this is Earth, right? I mean, there's the moon, and then they realize that they just drew Earth, so they're like, oh, we need to make like Hurricane Irene go all over this mug, and so they just drew a bunch of like you know whatever like cloud cloud formations. I don't understand what, what this is, though. I've been trying to figure this out for a few days. Like, it's like this weird textured space dent glowing halo of fun. You know, the moon is outside, of course. Um, I don't really understand how this in any way correlates to, to the artwork. I mean, just a word planar, so you draw a planet. It's, I mean, this is, what I'm saying isn't funny. I'm, I'm genuinely asking what the hell is going on here. I mean, this is just, it's just Earth and the moon with some sort of weird glowy crap and Hurricane Irene to cover up the fact that it is Earth and not Dominaria, which it claims to be down here in the text. So yes, this is what I have for you this week. Sea Monkey, uh, Sea Monkey Dance Party, Ceramic Ghost Rider Baby Friend, The Worst Juggler, Splinter Dong, Touch Touch. Oh my god, this guy's name has to be like Cory. Oh, this stupid thing. This is just bad. These two are just bad. Like, they're not, some of these things are just bad. They're, it's not even funny. I mean, like, this is really isn't funny. It's just like, I'm looking at this and I'm, whatever. Pinky. We got old, uh, fart robe. Uh, man mower. And earth. So, that's what we got for you, uh, this week. Um, all of my love. Feel free to complain in the comments below. <laughs>